good Monday morning. It is starting to stay dark later in the morning. Well, before you know it, I'm going to be driving to work pitch black. And uh, I mean, right now it's it's getting kind of dark. I'm not sure if you can tell. I'm not getting dark. It is still a little dark. But there's also overcast, so it's hard to say if that's helping that out. But anyway, I'm on my way into work. I've got to get in and take care of a couple things. And uh, then I've got to head back up over here because I have an orthodontist appointment, getting another set of trays for my teeth. And I think I should get like a couple months worth, maybe eight, eight trays or something like that, 12 trays. So we'll get those and I'll go from there. And like I said last night, I've got to start planning uh, to get out to Texas for the Labor Day weekend. So, fun stuff happening today, so stick around. Oh, my traffic. I suppose I could have gone right there. they start turning from this way. I'm going. Got tired of waiting. So I assume there's going to be a bunch of kids in here because that's kind of what this place is for. All right, well, I got my next box of trays. You see right there. And my next appointment is... 15 weeks out and then I think I'll pretty much be done in fact he said I may not need the last couple trays and that if, uh, if the gap closes by that time then I should uh, come in earlier so I, I could be done here in the next two, two and a half months and then I just get my, uh, whatever they're going to do for the permanent retainer solution. So that's kind of exciting. I'm going to be done here pretty quick. Seems like I just got them on. Got a little police activity. Alright, time to go home. It's a little later in the day than I normally uh, am able to get out of there. But uh, it was kind of a busy afternoon. Got a lot of stuff done. But now I've got the gym tonight. And uh, I just got a call from Kyle. He was uh, lining up uh, movers to uh, take his furniture up to Iowa. So we're kind of getting that squared away. We've got to pack it down here. And then he's going to have some people move it when it gets up there. And then I got a little planning taken care of today for the trip up to or over to Texas to go see Andrew. So I'm going to do that. I took Thursday and Friday off and next Tuesday so it's going to be a good six day weekend. So I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to ride or if I'm going to take the car. I mean I, obviously I want to ride because that's fun but it's just such a long, long trip out there. It's like 13 or 14 hours to um, to Wichita Falls. And I want to try to get it done. Plus, um, I go through two time zones, so I will lose. Actually, on the clock, it'll be like 15 hours or so. So I've got to figure out where, if I'm going to stop along the way and that so a little more planning to do been on the road for 45 minutes not home yet I got a little ways to go hopefully I get there by 6 I'll have to get dressed and ready for the gym as soon as I walk in the door it is orange theory time we spent a little time at home there 
uh, trying to redirect a package on UPS because for some reason, um, for some reason, Kim bought something at Macy's and when she went to use PayPal to pay for it because she had some sort of credit on there, yeah. it changed the address at Macy's to the confirmed address at PayPal. So now it's going to uh, her address when she lived up in the DC area. <laughs> so we're trying to figure out you know, how to get that stopped or moved and Macy's was absolutely no help even though Macy's can go in and stop a package and redirect it themselves. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. Hopefully whoever gets on the other end just um, <clears throat> doesn't accept it. But we'll see. Maybe I have to call UPS tomorrow. But we did update the default delivery to a UPS store right by our house. So hopefully that will maybe trigger something in the delivery system that says all oh, that package is in the wrong area and brings it back here. But I don't know. So unfortunately, I've got to bring too much stuff to uh, Wichita Falls for my son Andrew. So I can't ride the Harley. I've got to, I've got to drive uh, the car. I'm going to take my mom's Civic. Because like I said, they are up in Minnesota and they left us the Civic. I'm going to be staying at um, some good friends of ours, Matt and Jessica, and their daughter, Seven. Uh, they're great people. So we'll be staying, oh, I'll be staying there because Kim can't go. Kim's cousin is coming into town and Kim doesn't have a lot of vacation time, so she's kind of stuck. She's kind of stuck... Uh, around here so that's too bad anyway the uh, workout tonight was pretty decent I mean uh, it wore me out so I guess that's good and uh, we got in the pool afterwards pool is still warm but it's getting up to like 107 this week I had a long day today I got a whole set of Invisalign trays this morning but prior to that, I had to go into the office for something. I, I told you that this morning. So it was it was a early morning and then a busy afternoon. It took me a while to get out of the office. So I am beat and I'm going to go to bed. So thanks for watching and we'll do this again tomorrow. Good night.